when Caesar Matteo Tapia and Andre Saavedra came together on Saturday, October 19th. It was a matchup between two middleweights that would have the sport on its end for their competitiveness. And they were the definition of back and forth. Let's talk about this fight. The middleweight showdown that took place on the undercard of Bakram versus Tim Zhu was a fight that many didn't think would turn out the way it did. It ended up being quite an engaging affair when Caesar Mateo Tapia took on Indri Saavedra. Saavedra, excuse me. This was a middleweight battle that saw two men coming together and given the best that they could offer, trying to reach the next level. When you talk about Tapia, he came into the fight where he was being held as a fighter bordering on contention. And he had a big punch and he was looking to use this opportunity on this card to springboard himself into an opportunity, a possible title shot going into next year. The fight turned out to be more than he expected. And his record in the aftermath now is at 17 and 0 with one draw, 10 KOs. In the fight, as he attacked injury, his punches resonated ringside. They were hard, crisp shots. They made thudding sounds. Microphones could pick up the blows. And when Saavedra countered, his punches looked a little bit slower, but he was definitely a heavy-handed puncher between the two. It's just that it appeared that Mateo was the one that was going to be favored. But lo and behold, as the fight began to unfold, we saw some things that we didn't expect as Tapia ended up being dropped twice in round three. And then he was once again down in round nine. Saavedra, whose record now is 16 and one, with one draw and 13 KOs, was considered the puncher between the two, and it showed up when he needed it most. It appeared that Tapia was scoring and winning the rounds, but then he would get caught with certain blows by Saavedra, and next thing you know, he was in trouble and he was on the canvas. But it didn't deter him it bewildered him, actually. You could see that as he responded to the blows that were landing, it just took him by surprise that Saavedra's punching power was alarming, to say the least. But he even had Saavedra down in round five after a series of shots that rocked him and then he went down unexpectedly. Over and again, these men exchanged blows with sometimes Tapia looking like he was the worst for wear. At one point, it even looked like he was resigning to the competition. But as I watched, it wasn't so much a resignation it was just that he was in against a man who was being very physical and he was absorbing the type of punishment that made him pause and think about self-preservation. Maybe something that Tim Zhu should have thought of when he was fighting. 
Overall, the two men gave as good as they got. This is one of the best back and forth fights that I have seen in recent memory. It kind of put me in mind of when Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales fought, where you could see the two men giving and taking and being aggressive and at other times being defensive because the ebb and flow of the fight dictated that one consider self-preservation in the trying moments. That was exactly what was on display here with these two men and the audience that was present looked toward these men and roared with excitement as they gave as good as they got. Overall, I didn't think that it was a draw. I actually think that Saavedra should have pulled this out, especially with the three knockdowns. But the mere fact that he was being outboxed by Tapia and the fact that he got dropped by Tapia also seemed to balance the scales in the judge's mind. And I can't argue with that because it was definitely the type of a battle that it kept the judges involved as well. You had to be paying attention because at any moment another guy could hit the canvas or at any moment the fight could possibly end. This was one of the most entertaining fights of the year. Uh, hopefully these guys will get an opportunity to face one another again and make a greater payday. Any way you cut it, it was an amazing night overall and they did their jobs. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave comments and let me know what did you think of this affair. Peace to everyone and everyone be safe.